Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the readings. We're going to take a look at October 2024 for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, personal readings, the link is in the description box below. And you guys, I have updated my wish list, so go on over and check that out if you want to support the channel. Definitely can support with super chats, hitting the like button, um, purchasing something off my wish list to send to me, um, lots of other things you can do. Okay, so hello everyone in the chat and welcome to the mods back again. You guys are so fantastic. So like when I was shuffling, um, the Ace of Cups fell out of the deck. So I thought, well, let's just put that down to see what the messages are here or how that's going to tie in. And let's get started. Okay, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Okay, dealing with an addiction, a codependency in a relationship, someone being obsessed, possessive, a bit controlling. Also, cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over and over in the head. Okay, oh, I hit a card fall here. Let's see what that was. It didn't just fall. It, yeah, it jumped. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up. Oh my gosh, Virgo, I can already see how this is starting. Oh my gosh, there's some type of new beginning in love, romance, flirtation. Um, someone maybe from your past, for sure. Like, I'm feeling that with the cassette, you know, the old popping that cassette in your cassette deck in your car, <laughs> pushing uh, rewind. Somebody's rewinding, replaying so that you might. So I'm just hearing somebody gets um, that's something to do with a playlist. Somebody, somebody makes a playlist for someone as well, or someone's making one. Yeah, so I feel like there's someone here who is showing up as very addicted, uh, dealing with addiction, like chained to you. Okay, someone maybe that you're currently talking to um there's like an obsessiveness going on here even with this seduction someone trying to seduce you this week okay or not just well in october somebody wanting to hook up feeling very tempt tempted by you wants to date super super attracted to you so again you got the ace of cups so there's definitely something new beginning here it's a new, some kind of a new love start. All right, let's take a look and see what else is showing up here. Ooh, seven of swords. Okay. Um, mm, this is a runner energy. Someone's being very deceitful. Ooh, Virgo, better watch out. Oh, wow, the tower. Or someone that you connected with who is being deceptive or tricky or... Doing something is having a tower moment here. Okay. This is a little bit of a wake up call happening here. Ego, ego, somebody's, okay. Why is this so far away? I feel like it's like miles away. Um, someone's getting like a hit to the ego for sure. Yeah, definitely. Their world's falling apart. Somebody's, somebody, well, it's a world, but they're like, This kind of feels like, um, all right, a couple of messages. That's why I'm pausing here. Somebody got shot down. or <laughs> Somebody's getting shot down. Is being rejected or was rejected, okay, and ran away. But is coming in to have this, try to start something up again here. I'm also hearing there is someone that's just obsessed with you, like, physically. It, like your body, your your everything, okay? And um, this is someone that comes in, maybe offers love, sweetness, all that stuff, but you know, it's like they're just trying to get a little something, something. So I feel like it could be both. It could be both Virgo. All right, let me just see here. It's just someone who's obsessed. It feels like a physical obsession. Like this card, whenever I look at this, not every time, but I do feel like this is orgasmic. Wow. Four swords. This is my this is my getting into bed card. Yeah, there's definitely a physical sexual thing going on here in October. 
So let's see. Major Arcana, you have the Tower, that's a Mars energy, so it could be an Aries or a Scorpio. Um, they're they're not at peace. They will be at peace though. Um, once that physical thing happens, but also because there's some kind of rejection with the tower or the world's falling apart, I feel like this person is being kind of silent and they are, and it kind of feels like right now they're being a bit silent, like they're recovering from some kind of being shut down. They're going to try again. This is what I'm hearing. Someone's going to try again because they're like obsessed with the connection. They're not quitting. This person is not giving up. Oh, there's the Emperor. There's your Aries. Okay, this is someone who's very commanding. They get what they want. That's their mindset. They get what they want. They don't back down. They're not backing down here, Virgo. They're not going to quit. This person is not going to give up. They're coming in with this romantic proposal. Let's see. This romantic off. Oh, yeah. The star. They could be someone in the public eye. Um, but this person definitely wants a renewal of some sort. You know, let's try to do that. Hey, can we do this again? Somebody, because of obsession or possessive behavior with the addiction. And they can't stop thinking about you. And they can't stop thinking about... Um, I feel like this might be somebody that either you rejected or you shot down or you were like, nah, or you, you quit or you ended something. You didn't have to be in a relationship with this person. It could have just been someone that you were dating. Um, could have been just temporarily, you know? It really depends on your situation, but that's what I feel like is going on. Whoever this person is to you, and I'll, I'll pull some names towards the end of this reading, so stick around to a little more clarification, but it could be an Aquarius this person is not giving up. They are hopeful. Definitely. But what do they want? <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like the physical, but also the romance, too. Or you, you like need to go out in a laundry bag or something. Okay, there's your first court card. So, water energy here. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see. Okay, yeah, defending. They don't really reveal their feelings too much, but I do feel like there's some kind of conflict here. And they're going to fight. Definitely compete. I feel like compete. It's challenging. I feel like they think you're being a challenge, but they're going to compete if there's anybody else vying for your attention or anything like that, or just time buying for your time they're ready they're ready to compete they're ready to fight and it's funny because the queen of cups masculine or feminine energy usually is, shows up as someone who's a little bit passive but they're showing up here as being very like physically active very yeah very active wow there's a lot of uncertainty here um they don't care about these obstacles their mindset is i get what i want hmm Drag you by the hair, pull you into the cave kind of energy. Yeah. Uh, Eight of Cups. They're showing up to me as being very dominant. This is somebody who... How can I say this? It's hopeful. They're like They're hoping that they're going to be able to connect with you. Um, they're not going to move on, though. This is a card about moving on. I feel like they're going to... They're ready for this. If you tell them no, Virgo... In October, like if, if this when the, when they come in, if you tell this person no, if you are like nope, I've moved on, I'm walking away, that actually ups the ante for them to try to fight harder. They might be a little bit controlling with the emperor. This person does not come across as someone who has. Um, I don't feel like they have a big ego. I just feel like they're very confident in themselves. <laughs> I feel like this person is very confident. So even if, um, I don't know what the situation is. It's just like with you, if you know who this is. But I can tell you, I don't feel like they're, they're just not taking no for an answer. All right, so they want to talk about you, Virgo. You know, uh, the other day I saw the magician card. 
and somebody had written it down as Virgo. Now, I know the magician card is Mercury ruled, just like you are Virgo, but something about it, I just want to get more light in here. The card was, it didn't say Gemini at all, it said Virgo. And I was like, okay, I wonder why they're specifying that as being Virgo. But anyway, you're doing something here, Virgo. Are you, Virgo, are you casting a spell? What are you doing? You're manifesting something, but in private. I see, in October. You are very focused. You are using every resource that you have. Filling your potential, trying to, like you're manifesting your potential here. And you have a very, so be it attitude, like whatever will be, will be. Um, you're inspired. I, I feel like you're, you're you're definitely on your own here with the hermit. You're keeping to yourself. You've been enlightened or you're becoming enlightened. And making some kind of magic happen here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're manifesting new opportunities for yourself. Definitely. I, like, I don't feel like you're... Virgo, you you got some kind of power thing going on within yourself. It's a sense of confidence, I guess. I don't know if it's confidence or... Virgo, I don't know what you're doing. I'm just getting the sense of, like, you're manifesting some stuff in private here. Yeah, I don't know if you're working some kind of magic, pulling rabbits out of a hat, practicing... Some type of magical or practicing magic, something like that. Manifesting rituals. You know, some time ago, some years ago, I used to sell love jar, uh, love spell jar recipes. And people would reach back out to me and say, say that they work. I should start, I should start offering them again love spell jars maybe you're doing something like that <laughs> bringing opportunities to your door but i feel like be careful what you manifest virgo you might be manifesting this person to come towards you but i don't i it's, they're not telling me if this person's like good or bad for you but I feel like some of you are doing that. You're trying to manifest with some kind of magic, practical magic. You're very much in private private mode. There's a blocking. You know, this is giving me like Isis vibes. You know Isis, the mythical goddess Isis. They're telling me Isis. Somebody might have like wear a blue band or a blue watch band. You're manifesting karma. You might be trying to manifest someone back into your life so that you could block them. I don't know what you're doing. This is odd. this is odd. a very odd message here. Okay, judgment. So we have Virgo, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio. There's karma. You're are you like casting karmic spells on someone? I don't know, but I I just something I don't know, but I feel like with the two of swords here, you're you're just you're staying very quiet, and it, the two does have to do with some kind of partnership. You're making some kind of decision, balancing make like balancing something out here. Virgo, this is really interesting for you. Hmm, there you are showing up in your reading. Yes, it is so dark. Why is it so... You know, the sun was out here. The sun's coming back out a little bit. So, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Virgo, you are on fire in October. You are on fire with this Nine. I feel like you're being... Um, there's, there, just keep giving me this the word confidence. Something to do with your confidence... And you know, like, are you trying to seduce someone? What are you doing? You're being, like, you, you're looking amazing here in October. And I feel like you're attracting someone here. And I don't know who they are. It could be, you might be, a, you might be, you might, you might be attracting someone new. You could be attracting someone old or just attracting others. You're, there's just this seduction energy happening here with something that you're doing with yourself okay uh, uh, be careful who you are 
manifesting is what I want to hear because you can manifest negatives and you can manifest positives I think you got to be like if you're trying to and manifesting someone is very much witchcraft whenever I hear a reader in you know on YouTube or anything they say oh you're manifesting someone that's spell work manifesting energy for yourself that's not spell work okay but manifesting a person um, you can make wishes and send prayers and things like that but that's yeah I don't know I'm a little bit weary about when I hear readers say that because that's some type of manipulation and the magicians in the upright if it's in the reverse then I would say all right what are you doing what are you doing you're trying to manipulate someone like me like some type of voodoo practice or something to bring somebody back into your life right I don't feel like though here with the magician you're doing that I feel like you're manifesting energy and I feel like it's for you like you're manifesting yourself like 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 you're manifesting uh, like your focus you're doing something creative with yourself you're turning visions into reality so you are attracting in October and I feel like you're attracting a water sign to you. The Queen of Cups. Feminine or masculine energy. By something that you are doing. Could have a connection to music as well. Um, there could be like a seduction energy at work. You might be flirting. Hmm. Interesting. Just show me the, the hermit. I just want to see the hermit. Okay. Yeah. You have a very direct energy here, Virgo. You're very focused on yourself. So, you know, whoever is bringing, whoever's, the, whoever's energy is coming towards you, okay, this person, whether it's new or old or whomever, could be both at the same time, uh, you're, you're just causing all this attraction towards you and this irresistible charm with whatever you're doing or however you're speaking, however you're moving. Whatever you're involving yourself in, you know, even with this Nine of Pentacles, this gives me a sense of class. Like you're showing up in some kind of way where it's like an irresistible energy. So you're definitely, I see you being irresistible to one, two, five, ten different people. Yeah, look, there's the lovers. Wow. So, hmm. Well, I mean, it feels mostly like I said that you're focusing on yourself and you're manifesting things for yourself. I don't. I'm happy to, to say that I don't feel like you're trying to manifest um, people. You're not doing any kind of manipulation tactics, which is good. I feel like that can come back and bite you. So if you're just manifesting yourself in your dreams, making your goals, your dreams, things come forward for you, then that's gonna that will attract. You don't need to uh, manipulate others to bring them towards you. Just make yourself magical. Okay, and I see you doing that. You're bringing love in. And this ended the same way yesterday. So you're definitely, uh, there's definitely going to be a love match made here. Someone falls in love with you. All right, let's, let's see your messages of love. All right, you've got support. Lean on your inner circles during this time, Virgo. Uh, relationship moving towards a sacred union. In October, there's forgiveness <clears throat> showing up here. Someone forgives you or you forgive someone or both. <clears throat> there's healing happening as well. Healing and forgiveness. That's good. Also a friendship that's leading to more. And someone being unavailable to give you all you deserve. Uh, it feels like a friendship. Even though it could be leading to more, it could be more physical. <clears throat> Your intuition is on point in October, so trust this. You already know the answer you're seeking here, Virgo. Someone's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, or you're in theirs to teach them theirs. Yep, a decision is being made about a relationship here in um, October. And patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. I don't know what you're working on, Virgo, for yourself. Whatever you're making improvements or um, manifesting for yourself, but it's going to draw a suitor or two. Integrity. 
doing it like with integrity, like manifesting your dreams and goals with integrity. And there's a relationship here showing that they can stand the test of time. So safe to trust in some situation here, Virgo. All right, let's see what else, what other messages here are for Virgo. Yep, make a decision, work on inner healing. You've got some challenges, but I feel like you're overcoming them. Luck is on your side, so that's a positive, Virgo. And patience again. And they're saying just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So I do feel like you're being very patient. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying to bring in towards you, you're being very patient with it, but it's coming. There might be somebody else also that would try to sabotage a relationship that you are in or that you are connected to. It could be an earth sign who might just be interfering. It could be an interference. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It could also be a fire sign. They could be on the cusp of Leo, Virgo, or you are. All right, something's going to get serious in October, Virgo. Someone you're man something you're manifesting. Whatever you're drawing to yourself to improve, uh, it this there's some person or it's going to get like the relate there's a relationship that's going to get serious with someone that you you draw towards yourself. You might even draw someone um How can I say this? I'm trying to think of the, the word. Um, okay, I'm trying to say it, but I, I can't help but be candid. But um, you're pulling someone from the other team to your side, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I feel how seductive and attractive you are in October. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you've got someone who's like, they're in the same sex, but now they're like, oh, maybe not. Now, I don't know how that's working, but there's something going on here. Okay. Some of you might be moving or moving in with someone in October as well. And, uh, oh, somebody's coming in with the puppy, giving you a gift, a pet, or getting a pet. Some of you are going to be traveling too, meeting someone while you're traveling, I'm hearing. Or someone's traveling to you. Be careful if someone's sneaky, Virgo. Yep, be careful. Like I said, you know, the the more you attract, you're going to attract everybody. You're going to attract everyone. Once you open up that portal and start manifesting things for yourself. So I feel like your message here is to be kind of discerning with who's coming in. One of them might be like real sneaky. All right, we've got pregnancy. So be careful of pregnancy if you're not trying to get pregnant. You might find out someone's expecting. It could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, and you, your intuition. Mm -mm -mm. Red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So yeah, be careful. Like I see you in making some kind of improvements in your life, whether that's physical, monetary, um, or your mindset, everything just going in a very good positive direction, but you're that is seducing people, making people or someone in particular addicted to you. Just very, very alluring and attractive. You're be, you're showing up here in October. Maybe that's something that you want, but whatever it is, Virgo, I feel like there's some caveats connected to that. Maybe you're like improving your your health. Your physical body, uh, improving your work game, making more money, like all these blessings are happening because we started off with the Ace of Cups. All these blessings are happening and you are like a magnet. I feel like you're a magnet for a lot of many suitors or maybe just one in particular. Well, they're included. Okay. Yep. There's a King of Cups. So we're showing up the only two court cards are the water signs, okay? Now, that doesn't mean your person, you know, if it's someone in particular that you want to attract towards you, could be a water sign, but it might be in their, their uh, not just their sun, it could be their moon, their Venus, right? So uh, the King of Cups of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but you could also, like I said, whether it's new or old, they're showing up. Actually, three, 
no, two times here, right? Was it two times? Yeah, I think it was two times. Could have been three. I can't remember. All right, look at this. You've got victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. So you're shining, Virgo. You're like out in the forefront. Lots of recognition. This is what I'm telling you. And there's a King of Cups who's recognizing you in October. They're paying attention. And there's your Knight of Swords again. Okay. Um, there might be this Knight, the King of Cups, masculine or feminine, like I said, who's very focusing, focused on you and defensive. Like they're, they could be the one who's um, going to fight. Or um, how was I seeing it? The Spirit was saying like it's not going to quit, not going to give up here. Sudden or unexpected change. Coming towards you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Nine of Cups. This wish coming true. This this King of Cups, this water sign is wishing and hoping. Like they're coming towards you because you just, I don't know, there's something about your success or your promotion of yourself. Um, there's just something about you. Is maybe it's status. You reach some kind of status. They're I guess they're status minded, but they're they're very much like looking at you. Definitely looking at you. Okay. There's your two of cups there. Yeah, I'm trying to make a connection. Now this doesn't so keep in mind, right? Whoever this person is that's showing up. Um they could be brand new because the ace of cups does represent a new start, but this could be a new start to an old thing as well. So you're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. You're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. Okay, they're just saying. I'm going to give you some of, look, dating queen or king. Look, this is what I'm saying. Opportunities, dates, abundance. You're attracting, Virgo. It's not just coming out of the blue. It's something you're doing. You might notice. In the month of October going forward, you're getting a lot of dates, asked out, generating a lot of interest. Um, it doesn't have to just be romantic. It could be on the work front, too, or getting a lot of leads. There's something that you're doing with yourself that's generating interest and opportunities. And this is what you are trying to manifest as well. Like, it's because of you. It's not, it's not just like some kind of gift you're receiving. You're working hard on something. Okay, you do have a fair male. Now, this could be you. Or it could be someone that you're connected to. That you could be dating. It could be a female as well. Light skin, light hair, light eyes. Okay, look at this. Get some choices here, Virgo. Definitely a little bit of a triangle, like I said. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. You just might get it, Virgo. Did you ever hear that thing? Yep. Well, there you go. Okay, there could be a workplace romance or something along those lines. Where I was seeing with seduction, too. Something to do with your profession, your college, or just workplace. There's some generating some interest there. Wow. And fun times, parties, events, and having fun. Looks like it's going to be an interesting, maybe a Halloween party you're going to go to or throw. Looks like it's going to be a very interesting October for you, Virgo. And as far as, I mean, your life is not going to be dull. That's for sure. Let's see. Yep, a lot of time with good friends, which is great. A new passionate start. This is what I'm telling you. I don't know what you're doing specifically, Virgo. Like I said, Whatever you're, whatever you're doing, the results are going to start showing or this attitude change is positivity or something along those lines is bringing in um, some competition. Here you go. Competing for your attention. Struggle, challenge, competition. Someone's competing for your attention, Virgo, or others. It's so crazy because Virgos are like, I don't want all that attention. I know. I know you. Trust me. I know you. You'd rather just stay home. But I don't feel like you're purposely doing something to draw attention to you. I don't feel like that's like, I don't feel like that's your motive. I feel like your motive is just to improve your life. And because you're improving it 
and reaching like some top tier levels. It could be in anything, right? It's just from where you are now, like another level up is going to start drawing in this energy towards you. So, you know, maybe you're, if you're that Virgo, that's like, I don't want attention. I don't want attention. Then I don't know. Stay in your house. <laughs> you got some kind of aura. You're giving aura of some sort future plans and choosing a path yes yeah, so you, you know you might not have even started something yet but it's it, whatever you decide or if you've been thinking about it it's definitely coming like it's gonna things are gonna move forward for you virgo i'm telling you right now yeah new love beginnings wow this is beautiful you might have like a motherly figure guiding you kind of like um sandy and frenchy you know how frenchy helped sandy out like get her hair done and like all those physical things but you know like someone you might have like a mentor or someone's you know could be a, a counselor or a therapist or a coach or you know guiding you to your divine blessings opening up your heart to receive like i feel like your energy is like you're all about the love right and you're also taking charge of your life you might also have a father figure guiding you. Mother figure, father figure. These are just, don't have to be your parents. It just could be someone who, like two people who are um, very independent, creative, abundance, full of abundance, uh, respectful. They're a good strategic planner. I don't, I don't know, where are you doing something here? Okay, you do have a mature dynamic. You've got a fire sign is definitely going to be showing up as well. Masculine or feminine. Let me see. What is this person's energy? Oh, yeah. Male or female. Loving. This is someone who's older. Oh, wants a new chapter with you. Okay. Starting something new. Definitely. So the most significant signs. Uh, water and fire. With a new start. With water or fire. Okay, Bergs, y'all, I don't even know. Let's just take a quick look at your money. Just a quick peek at your finances. Quick peek at Virgo's finances. Okay. Oh my God, there's magic. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky's the limit. Virgo, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. You got some kind of magic stuff going on. Magician energy. Manifesting. And there you have beginning. A good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get noticed. Build a nest egg for the future. Yeah, there's a new beginning. Oh, look at this. We never had this card. People skills. You have a flair for working well with others. You could be a diplomat, counselor, salesperson, or head of a company. Now, there are some Virgos here like, nah, but maybe that's some, maybe you're that Virgo that's like, yeah, I really want to be a better people person. You could be working on that. Or you do already have those skills, um, like in sales, or uh, you're, 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 you're recognizing here you know you have a flair and this is something you like a direction you could go as far as your career if you're like that virgo that's really good like there are some virgos who are absolute hermits right and they are just they're in the house they don't want to talk to people they're anti-people but then there's the other virgos who and i know quite a few i'm even one myself who, who really like they like some of their downtime for a recharge but mostly are out talking to people they, they enjoy spending time with people they work in sales they you know they're real good um helping others they're very extroverted okay so if you're that virgo that's an introvert okay maybe you're gonna work on your people skills but if you're the one who's like out and about and always keeping in touch and very charming and good good with others um i feel like you might find a way to drive that into some type of career all right yeah you've got a journey you may move to a new place for work or travel for work exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed okay maybe you're going to go to egypt maybe you're going to go see the pyramids a work trip 
All right, that card's a dud. It's all messed up. Look at that. I love it. Star power. You need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor and influencer. You attract fame and fortune. Very, you got some kind of star power. And it definitely, it's going to be infusing you in October. All right, and then anything else? I just want to get a couple of hidden truths because you're saying there's someone in your life that has a, a message they want to send you. Someone has a message that they want to send you, Virgo. Personal message. Someone that's um, you haven't spoken to. Okay, There's someone who loves you unconditionally and they stay awake thinking about you. Okay, Virgo? They can't stop thinking about you. That's kind of like the cassette, replaying the conversations or replaying things over and over in their head. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So somebody let you go and that was, they love you, but they had to let you go for some reason, but they feel like they missed, messed up everything. They got some good news they want to share with you, but I guess you guys aren't talking. This person wants to be more than friends. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like this person, um, like they left you before you could leave them, but they know that you came closer than anyone. And last but not least, they're becoming a better person and they're starting to understand your connection. Okay, that's a special message for somebody that I feel like maybe you needed to hear. Let's take a look and see the Chinese side. You and or this person that we we're just talking about here. All right, year of the pig. Oh my gosh. Year of the goat. Year of the tiger. Year of the dragon. Got a rat. A monkey. A rooster. And the ox. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some names, initials. See, so you've got Scorpio, double Scorpio, double Gemini. Very significant signs for you in um, October. It could be your sun, it could be your uh, moon rising or Venus, or uh, that's another person. All right, so we have September 12th, September 11th and 12th, uh, August 24th, August 25th. There's September 12th again. We have 12-12. 12-12 might be a significant December 12th or 12-12. You might be seeing 12-12 a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Um, September 1st, significant. We also have 1-1-1. July was a very significant month that, that recently passed for someone had significant um, something major happened in July. Okay, so we have the number, so this age or year of birth, 64, 60, 45, 46, 72, 31, 50, 87, 34, 81, 78. September 14th, also significant birthday. Okay, and January of 2025, something very profound is going to be happening. All right, let's see if we can get some names, initials, and someone's in Alaska, someone's in Hawaii. All right, they're telling me Sean. All right, one sec, one sec. Let's do initials, okay. Someone's name starts with an A. We have an H, I, letter C, letter V, a letter S. We have an O, we have a J. Oh, we have a Y. And then they showed me the letter N. We have an E. We have a B, or someone has two Bs in their name. They also, yep, we have a C, we have two C's in the name. 
two O's. Someone likes ABBA. We have two A's. Okay. I'm hearing J, as in like J-A-Y, J. Okay, Spirit. Give me, or oh, someone's last name is Cobb. Cobb, C-O-B-B. -B. I'm hearing Caitlin, or Caitlin. Jack. Bob, Bobby, Barbara. Sissy, they're saying. Oh, VH, someone's in the Van Halen. I am like 55 years old. I was never a huge Van Halen fan. I loved them, like some of their music way back in the day. But lately I'm on like this, oh my God, <laughs> how come I didn't never listen to this song? I mean, I had the Diver Down album when it came out. I bought the record. I think it was like, I don't know, I was I was a kid still, and I used to play it on my turntable. <laughs> you know, do you remember the good old turntable? And then I would try to record it. So I had like a I had like a turntable that had a cassette deck right next to it. It was like a all in one. So I could play the song and then I could hit record. So I could record the song, which was great because I didn't have to worry about waiting for it to come on the radio. So I felt like, I, and then I would take my tapes and I would make a bunch of tapes and I'd sell them to my friends. <laughs> I was like an entrepreneur at like, I don't even know how old I was. What year did that come out, 1981? <laughs> I was like, ooh, listen, oh, you don't, can't afford to buy it here. Two bucks. <laughs> I was like a bootlegger. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's not get into this. So even though I just got into this, <laughs> um, they're giving me, they're telling me cash. Cash, I don't know, like Johnny Cash or somebody's gonna like, is coming into a lot of cash. I'm hearing AJ, what's up AJ? You see, not getting like, I don't know, not getting a lot of, not getting a lot of um, like name names. Just, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I, all right, Virgo. Let's see. All right, we've got a canary or a bird on a twig or on a tree branch. That's a messenger. There's a message coming in for you, Virgo. Oh, look, I don't, I don't think I've ever had this before, but you've got a witch on a broom. And that's so very Halloween-ish. I know you can't see it, but there's a little cute little witch on a broom. No, I'm not going to get into trying to show you again. It's super, super tiny. Uh, so there might be like, yeah, you could be decorating for Halloween or like I said, <laughs> you're getting a new vehicle, witch on a broom. And um, she, so there might maybe a Halloween costume, looking at Halloween costumes, creating them, sewing one attending maybe a party okay you also have like a Cheshire cat this cat has zero ears I mean they have ear holes but they don't have the ears so I'm, I don't know if the Cheshire or Paisley cat maybe it's a stuffed animal but I feel like there's some connection to a cat that like their ears are clipped that's very uh, very specific I'm, I'm so they're giving me okay there's a teddy bear they're giving me a lot of like stuffy animals like stuffed animals, so some kind of connection to stuffed animals. I don't know what that is. Maybe you have a lot of them. I'm also seeing an outdoor butterfly decoration, garden decoration, garden decor. So you might have one of those. And there's a white star here. Uh, first, they're telling me um, pool inflatable, inflatable for a pool. That's what they're saying. Oh, and then also like white star decoration for cookies, like the icing, something to do with a star. And then you've got like a, making some holiday cookies or something to do with stars. It could be the glow stars too. There's a connection to glow stars. And then you have, uh, I'm going to see what this is because I have no idea. Oh, royal jelly, they just told me. 
it's like a J. It might be a Christmas stocking. I can't really tell, but they're just, they just immediately, I got royal jelly. I'm not really sure what that is. Isn't it like from bees or something? I don't know. Royal jelly. Some kind of connection to royal jelly, you guys. Okay. I just want to give you, they just said, I'm going to pull some physical features, oracle messages here, or features cards. They're saying, tell Virgo, it's about you. So I guess this is what you... Your physical, you might have a lip piercing. Uh, you might have red hair. Uh, medium length hair. You wear glasses. Could be sunglasses or prescription glasses or reading glasses. Uh, you might be short. Someone might have curly hair. Uh, you might be average height. So you could be between short and average height. Someone also might have brown hair. You could have color changing hair as well, like changing your colors. Blonde hair, maybe you go through different color changes or your hair just changes as the seasons change. Any other features for somebody has freckles? They could be a lot or just a little, maybe some beauty marks somewhere. Also, someone has a mustache or a little, like, I'll tell you what, the Hitler mustache, mustache is never going to be in style, but maybe you're dressing up, and I hope you're not dressing up like Hitler, but whatever. <laughs> let me not, let me keep my opinions to myself, right? Um, but the mustache thing, I feel like this is more of a costume, doing something, I don't know, you going to a costume party? There's a wig. Somebody's doing, maybe looking at wigs. Okay, is there anything else here for Virgo? Oh, sad eyes. Somebody's got sad brown eyes. And we also have a beard. Now, all of these at once? Perhaps. Don't know. Could just be one of them, right? But if you resonate with any of that, that's just to tell you that this reading is connecting more to you. I just heard someone is staying at the Hyatt. Maybe this week. And I'm hearing Bobo. Oh, I must have released some energy here. I'm hearing Bobo. Maybe that's a cat's name or something. Uh, they're saying, a, no, is it Isidore? Isidore? Is it Isidore? Hector. Okay, here they all come. Jai. Jai? J A I? Uh, South Carolina. Now they're giving me California. Okay. Sarasota, uh, auction, they're saying auction or acton. Okay. So we're going to end. That's, that's, that's enough. My brain is like, I'm getting a headache. So, all right, you guys, if you want to get a personal reading, like I said, the link is in the description box below. Let me just give a quick shout out to the newest members here of the channel. Um, if you have joined the VIP, welcome. I will be uploading on Tuesday, your VIP reading. That's for those who wish to get the extra bonus content that I have on my channel. Definitely welcome. Let me take a look and see who has come in. I want to say hello to... All right, we have Frigamarole. Welcome. Let's see. Cricket. Adri Carter, Medcure, Orcada Guterres, Virgo Stalita, I don't know why my glasses aren't working, Mercedes Lona, Tamatea, Vitek Wilson, hey Tammy, Lynn Osborne, Talifa Jarvis, Steve O rejoined, welcome back, Steve O is our moderator, so say hello, Quanisha, Kimmy, Amy Schaefer, wow, a whole bunch of you. Um, my gosh. Missy Baby, upgraded, awesome, Missy, welcome. Amelia Joel Baba. And we have Becca, Robert Adams, Lady B, you guys are awesome, Anonymous Angels, Zoe Coleman, Charity Charity, Inland Empire, a whole bunch of you guys. Thank you for becoming a part of the HOV 
community. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for the mods for being here. Steve-O, Charity, Melly, Persephone, Steve B, Jason. You guys are super, super awesome. My phone is ringing. And I'm going to go. I love you guys. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us